السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے وی اسٹارٹ ایکسرسائز 2.3 پریشن آن 3 سیٹس نائک پریٹر از سیم یونین اینڈ انٹرسیکشن دیز آر سم کنڈیشنز وتھ گیون سیٹس آل پاسبلٹیز property of union and intersection first is commodity property of union second commodity property of intersection third is associative property of union then fourth associative property of intersection six and seven are distributive property of union over intersection and intersection over union class 2 or de morgan's law a union b complement is equal to a complement intersection b complement if a intersection b whole complement is equal to a complement union b complement proof of de morgan's law A union B complement is equal to A complement intersection B complement. Let X belongs to A union B whole complement. X in the left hand side. If X belongs to A union B whole complement then X is not in A union B. If any element in the main set it is not possible to it in the its complement. If X is not belongs to A union B, then X not belongs to A, not belongs to B. It means X is not belongs to A, then X is belongs to A complement and X belongs to B complement. If X in these both sets, then X is in their intersection. We start from the left hand side and reach in the right hand side it means left hand side is a subset of right hand side now we let another element y in right hand side a intersection a complement intersection b complement intersection means y in both these sets if y belongs to a complement it means y is not in a and y is not in the b If y not in A and not in B, it means y also not in A union B. It means y belongs to A union B complement. Then again, from right hand side, we reach in the left hand side. And same condition, right is subset of left hand side. If both are both. above condition we match the resultant is a union b complement is equal to a complement intersection b complement which is a required proof of de morgan's law these are some very question with the help of venn diagram uh, first one is commodity property of union we have sets a b and c we apply their property a union b and b union a the result are same same case in intersection try to solve associative properties with union and intersection and in fifth one distributive property a union b intersection C and its right hand side A union B intersection A union C these are also equal and at the end we verify 
the Morton's law with the help of sets. U means universal set. And A union V, all elements, not the repeat ones. Only single time. And A union B complement means U minus A union B. We eliminate element of A union B from U. Then we find A complement, U minus A, B complement, U minus B. And the required condition is proved. These are Venn diagram. If you have three sets, then we denote in first figure A by vertical lines, B union C by horizontal lines, and their total union is all the lines if we want to see their intersection then they are both two lines vertical and horizontal in figure 3 with intersection same case is a y horizontal lines b intersection c by vertical lines and then their common area where both these lines are intersect These are also some representation of N diagram. We mention there A union B by horizontal lines. When we represent union, we all area shade A and B. And but in intersection, the common area only. In figure 7, A union B by horizontal line and then its complement outside the A and B. And figure 8, A complement outside A, B complement outside B. And then common area A complement in the section B complement is outside A and B. Now axis, axis 2.3. First question, verify commodity property of union and intersection. First question is very easy. First part, given sets A and B, we apply their commodity property union and intersection both case the answer are same in second part natural number and integers we know that natural is a subset of integers it means union of these sets is equal to z integers and intersection is equal to n natural number we can verify property of commutative. In third part, A is a set which contains x greater than 0 real numbers, which means A contains positive real numbers, B contains all real numbers. It means A is a subset of B because B contains all real numbers and A contains only positive real numbers. When we want to find their union, in union greater set, answer is B. When we want to find intersection, answer is smaller set, A. And next we verify four properties, associative property of union associative property of intersection, distributive property, 
both distributive properties given sets calculation of some lengthy but if you do it it become easy in union we write down all the element and in intersection on the common elements simple questions i think is see for you in this part a is natural number b is integers and c is rational numbers they form a sequence and is a subset of integers and z is a subset of q it means if you find their union the greater set in answer and now you are in first part union of z and n is equal to z and in intersection of n and z is n in union we have to write the right side and in intersection the smaller set n is smaller than z and z is smaller than q and this is distributive property in this question we verify the morgan's law given u a and b i think is it is also an easy question easy question u a complement means u minus a b complement means u minus b this is also the morgan's law i think we solved this question in uh, example english alphabets a contains vowel b contains consonants and we prove their the morgan's law in question number 5 in first part we have a condition a is a subset of b a intersection c empty set b and c are overlapping according to this condition it's venn diagram here in part 
B and C overlap means some area they are common and A inside the B and A and C are disjoint. And then we apply their distributive property. In union we shade all the region and in intersection we shade common region only. Next property. One is union over intersection and other is intersection over union with the same band diagram. In second part we have band diagram like this A and B are overlapping B and C are overlapping A and C are disjoint it becomes like this and then we verify distributive property we want to solve this it is it is easy to understand Next is question number six. We have a set and then some conditions. Union of any set with empty set, it is equal to the same set. Union of same set is equal to the same answer and also in intersection we can prove it by taking any set number seven universal set a set a and then some example there a union a complement we shade in a venn diagram a and a complement it becomes the whole rectangle which is equal to u we can also prove it by a set form A intersection U is equal to A and A intersection A complement because both element or both sets are disjoint and their intersection is empty set. In question number 8 we prove this property by applying distributive property and then using the same result in this previous question the intersection of same element is equal to the same set distributive property and then using the property in same part 2 In this question, we verify the properties with the help of Venn diagram. <coughs> In first part, given A and B are disjoint, and we have to prove A intersection A intersection B complement is equal to A. Now it is joined both the circle are separate in A complement or B complement 
we shade outside the B and A, the resulting answer is equal to A. In second part, we take overlapping set. A minus B means we shade A, not B, and its union with B, then all the, the circles, it becomes A union B. In third part, A minus B, intersection B is equal to empty. If we take this A minus B, we shade A, not B, then it intersection with B, no element in common, it means it is empty. And in last part, A union B is equal to A union a complement intersection B. We first take this joint sets, then I think it is easy to understand. Try to solve all these questions at least one. If you have any problem, contact with me. Allah.